All right, guys, how's it going? East Bay Anglers here. Today, we're talking jerk baits, bass fishing. Muskies will hit these pike, walleye, and a variety of other game fish, striped bass, and really any kind of bass, um, peacock, sea, rock, doesn't matter. Large mouth, small mouth, spotted, doesn't really matter. We're talking top jerk baits. If you're fishing jerk baits, if you like jerk baits, or if you're trying to get into it, we're going to tell you the five best companies and brands you want to get into. We'll name a couple of our favorite and we'll move on. So today we're talking top five best companies for making jerk baits. Number one on the top of that list is going to be very expensive, but Mega Bass is bar none, um, second to none. It's the best. It sets the bar. Um, incredibly... Um, lifelike paint jobs that are just insane, phenomenal action, all these wonderful things. The bills do tend to break. For an expensive lure, that's a huge bummer. These lures do tend to take in water if they hit a rock or hit some kind of um, hard sediment or anything like that. You're going to have them take in water and become waterlogged. That's a big disadvantage when you're spending that kind of money. And the third negative is, well, their light wire hooks are absolutely amazing, but they bend out quite easily. So a lot of times, you know, smaller, not smaller, but fish that are, you know, two, three, four pounds will bend out those hooks really good. Um, the next brand we're going to talk about is going to be on the cheaper side. I wanted to do the second one to be more affordable. And that's the Rapala. You know, the X-Wrap jerkbait is insane. I know the colors are not as impressive as the Mega Bass as far as the paint jobs and everything else, but they catch fish. So that's why I'm talking about them. I love to use them in, there's a blue one, uh, silver, white, and blue on the top. And my other favorite color to throw is the perch or a fire tiger, but it's a perch looking fire tiger color. Um, very, very, very effective. I've been doing really good on those for a long time. They're wonderful jerk baits. And they're affordable, so they're sold, you know, sold a lot of places, easy to get, easy to get, and they work. The next brand we're going to talk about is Lucky Craft. Now, Lucky Craft has been coming out with jerk baits for a long time. Big, big boom in the 90s, early 2000s. All, oh, it's been one of those companies that's had a lot of winners. So they've definitely produced a lot of really good baits that have Stand, you know, lasted the test of time and stood the test of time and caught fish for year in and year out. So some of their popular baits are for, for the jerk baits are the Lucky Craft Stacy 78 SP and there's also the 90. There's a version one and a two of the 78 SP and sometimes you have to play around with some of these lead adhesive weights, whether they be a, their strips, whether they be circle dots or longer or cutouts of your own with the exacto knife that you make it helps balance those if anything happens or if they just kind of get tweaked or they're just not something's wrong with them in general i tend to do a lot of that with uh the lucky craft that i have there's also some pointers that are a bit bigger you know those are good they produce but i just don't have as much luck as the other two i talked about so the next company we're going to talk about is Jackal. Jackal is, you know, in the middle. It's not the highest end company. It's not the lower. It's right in the middle. Uh, a lot of their baits are around $15 and their eyes are notorious for popping out. But don't worry because they still catch fish even without the eye. Um, these jerk baits are very much quality. So you're getting the highest performance. You know, you're getting that same quality level roughly as mega bass you're just gonna have um you know an eye fall out here and there no <laughs> no and sometimes you know i notice that the uh the uh paint jobs are a lot different so you know sometimes these fish are very particular to color so sometimes having the right color is more important than having the right brand for sure 
So let's talk about another company that has some really good jerk baits on the market at the moment. That's going to be Duo Realis. I mean, they've been making some really good baits and they've been doing it for a while. There is a lot of, um, you know, Strike Kings right now being flooded on the market. Um, I was actually more so a fan of the Gary Yamamoto. I wish I could say that. They were, you know, I would put them on here. They were, Gary Yamamoto had a run that they made of jerk baits that were phenomenal. You could probably still get your hands on some of them. The paint jobs are not impressive at all. So these lures have something special about them. And I've actually gotten a few that I had custom painted because the bait works so well. The paint jobs are so terrible. <laughs> and it just works so well that it. I really think the action is something special about that lure. And, uh, you know getting them custom painted can uh, really be the difference. So these are the five, uh, well, that's actually six different brands, but these are the ones you want to stick with, guys. You want to stick with the ones that are at the top of the game. These are the guys that are investing huge amount of money, you know, millions, hundreds of millions, whatever, into designing these jerk baits to be, you know, top notch, to fish at a high level, and ultimately, these are the ones that if you're, you know, if you're on a tournament, if you're just trying to have fun and have jerk baits that just catch a lot of fish. I mean, there's so much tackle out there that just is not as good. So why waste your time with it? Why even have it in the tackle box if it's not something you know is going to allow you to fish at your highest level? Then why would you fish it? So. This is uh, today what we're talking about. I hope it helps, guys, and uh, get you on more fish, because that's what this is about, getting you guys on more fish. So stay tuned.